welcome to the Academy of Modern Martial Arts. Welcome to our fitness kickboxing class. Uh, make certain you have your gloves, your water, uh, a towel or mat. We will be doing some stuff on the floor at the end today and your bag if you have a bag. Other than that, let's get started with our drawer warm up. Starting with our fingers, just moving them all about, opening and closing them. This is our inventory, go into your wrist. Just finding out where we are today for our workout. And then into our elbows. So today we're going to be working on rotation. So we're going to be making certain that we get that rotation with all the techniques that need some rotation. And then we'll go into some shoulders. So that's our focus. Be sure that whenever we're doing a technique that needs some rotation, you're putting your energy and intention on that. And arms front and back. Really getting those shoulders warmed up. And then we're going to go into our legs. So swinging it front and back. If you need something to hold on to, hold on to it. I have my helping hand right here. And then after a few straight legs, let's go into bending it front and back. I always feel such a nice little stretch on my quad as I go back with the bent leg. And then switching to the other leg, straight leg. And this is where I feel the nice stretch in my hamstrings. Front and back. And then we'll bend the leg to get the front part of the leg in on it. From here, we'll bring our feet back, stopping, and we're going to go side to side. This only needs to go hip high. It's just getting a different movement within that hip joint. Front and back. And then we'll go to the other side. Actually, it's not front and back, it's side to side, but that's all right. Just keep moving your leg side to side. And then next, we'll be bringing our feet together. So bringing our feet together, bending your knees, and we're going to do circles. If you can keep your feet flat on the floor, do that. It'll also start warming up those ankles. And then we'll switch and go the other direction. And then we will go to the ankles. Big circles with one ankle. Toes making those big circles. Switch. Big circles with your toes on your second ankle. And we'll go the other direction on this foot. And then we'll go back to the one first foot and go the other direction that way. All right. Now we have a chance to get a drink of water. Loosen up anything else that you might need to loosen up. Put your gloves on. And we're going to start with 10 punches, 10 hooks. You have about 10 seconds. Getting yourself ready. Here we go. And starting with 10 punches, 10 hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and hooks. One, this is where you get that rotation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice both the shoulders and the hips are rotating together. And then we have the punches out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hooks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and straight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and hooks. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your body is doing the same thing regardless of the punch. It's just turning like this, and your arms are going different directions. So if I'm turning here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. And then to do the hooks, I keep turning. I just put my arm in a different position. Five, six, seven.
Sweet, sweet. 
So here without it, we have squat, knee, knee, squat, knee, knee, squat, knee, knee, squat, knee, knee. All right, now we have two knees, a hook, and an upper hook. So two knees with that same foot, we're gonna go one, two,
turn. One, with that second. This is one, that's the second. All right, next we have two knees with three punches. So it's that double knee where we're gonna go here. One, two, one, two, three, and switch. 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 One, two, one, two, three, switch your feet. One, two, one, two, three, and switch. One, two, one, two, three, switch. One, two, one, two, three, and 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 switch. All right, you have a 15 second break. We're gonna do two round kicks, touching our foot down in between, and then followed by two punches. So it'll be one round kick, second round kick, two punches. Here we go. So it's one, touch, two, one, two. And then we'll go to the other side. One, touch, two, one, two. Switch to the other side. One, two, punch, punch. Switch, one, two, Punch, punch, and switch. One, two, straight, straight, and switch. One, two, straight, straight, and switch. One, two, straight, straight, and switch. You still get that rotation in the hips. One, two, for this punch. Make it come forward so that you can get that second one. If you step too narrow, you're not gonna be able to get that second one, so make certain after that round kick, you're stepping to the side to get that rotation and that rotation. So we have one, two, add a diagonal, one, two. All right, next we have a double jab followed by two punches. So it's gonna be one, two, punch, punch. One, two, punch, punch. One, two, punch, punch.
push your knees down. And then let's reach our hands out as far as they can go. Walk their fingertips out more as they can. And then roll yourself up with your head being the last thing. We'll have one leg go out and we'll face it. Both hands, one on either side of the leg. Stretch them down as far as they can go. Use your fingertips to walk yourself out a little farther. And then starting at the base of your spine, roll your vertebrae up one at a time. Head being the last thing. And then we'll switch our legs. One hand on either side of the leg. Stretch and reach them out as far as they can go. Use your fingertips. Walk yourself out even farther. And then roll yourself up. One bird at a time until your head is the last thing. And we'll put both legs out. Sitting up really tall. We're going to have our hands come above our head. Keep our ears next to our biceps. And we're going to stretch everything with a flat back, nice and straight. You should be looking down at the floor. Don't let that chin come up. Keep it, those ears right next to the arms and then reach as far as you can reach with your hands and then let your hands drop let your back round and stretch forward starting at the bottom of your spine roll up one vertebrae at a time until your head is the last thing and then we're going to leave our left hand on the floor bring up our right hand and stretch our right hand over to that left foot. From here, I want you to, wherever you can grab, either your foot, your leg, I want you to look up at the ceiling underneath that right arm and really get that twist. We're doing our rotation again. And then come up. We'll switch hands and reach over to the other side. When you get down, look up at the ceiling. Pull that arm and shoulder back. You should feel a nice stretch through your side here. And then come back up. And then we'll have one more arm straight up. Gears next to your arms. Stretch forward. All the way as flat as your back could be. And then round it out at the last second. Roll yourself up. The head being the last thing. And bring your feet together, putting our hands up again, stretch with a nice flat back from the top of your head to the base of your spine, and then roll over, and roll yourself up, one vertebrae at a time, and we'll do that one more time. Hands come up, stretching flat back, flat, 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 until you need to curve. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a nice workout. If you enjoyed it, you can subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified whenever, whenever we add new workouts. Um, otherwise, I'll look forward to seeing you next time.